Yeah, uh, I think it was it was actually probably a bigger change than what I had. I tend to approach things in my life and put have a vision and then put things in place to to make that happen. And um, we did make it happen, but I think it was was difficult. It was a big change for my staff. It was a big change for me. But equally, I think uh, it was a big change for you know Greg Gillette as well. And I think one of the best things we did. I mean, one of the one of the core things that made it work is the level of trust that we have at the directorship level. Um, and I put a few notes down about some of the learnings I think of the things that we did right and one of the things I think we did right was that when we came in the three of us we were actually placed in different places in the office and I have heard of practices that have merged and a smaller practice has almost formed an enclave within an office so there's a number of things I think that went really well that enabled this to work but it also you know there's also I think we underestimate how change affects I mean, not only the management, but also affects staff and to try and give them some, the staff who are here and the staff who moved here to give them some time to adjust and also some support in that phase was really important. Oh, I'd say a couple of years actually. I think we're, I think we're, we're doing really well at the moment and I don't know how long, has it been two years? Mm, I guess. <laughs> I think, um, what happened was that, um, uh, similar to Dimity, we had identified, um, I guess, a deficiency that we needed to address in terms of um, younger, director qualified staff. And um, Dimity's name came up, and Steve and I discussed it. And I think, um, yes, Dimity was attractive to us for a number of reasons. Firstly, it provided us. Um, we're aware of Dimity's success um, because of our multiple awards in, in uh, residential. We're also aware of how difficult the residential market can be in terms of mm. um, uh, you're dealing with clients who are emotionally involved and attached to the project you're doing and uh, that brings a, a, that emotional level brings with it a certain complexity that is not present in commercial work. Um, it also brings a level, all clients are conscious of their budget, but I think um, domestically we are much more conscious of it. And so an ability to succeed in that marketplace led us to believe there was certainly, uh, Dimity had the suitable quali qualifications. Um, I think also too it was attractive to us that um, it would introduce a female director to our practice. Um, we are agenda um, <clears throat> there's there's a gender equity in the practice, not not from a deliberate or a um, it's it, it's it's not a proactive position. It was simply a, a response to um, gaining the most the best and most suitable people at the time for the project that was nor the for the position that was on offer. Uh, having said that, um, we then had a discussion, a sort of a sporadic discussion for twelve months, which was on and off, and we. <laughs> Coffees. Yeah, we'd, coffees. we'd meet and have a chat and talk about this and what about that and so on and so forth and just talk about our approach and I think it's fair to say that Dimini said a number of times she kept waiting for us to um, put a foot wrong. She kept yeah, I kept waiting, waiting for them to do waiting. something that I was like, oh, you know, I think to, I think to have, uh, you know, to have coffees with someone over 18 months, there's, you know, I think 80% of people I'd have those coffees and at some point think, oh, you know, that's a waste of time or, you know, that's um, uh, chauvinistic or arrogant or disrespectful or... So, yeah, I think I kept putting up these challenges and these guys. Um, and then at some point it was like, well, I guess I've got no reason, <laughs> no reason not to do it. <laughs>